Why are vampires bad at self-improvement? Because they can't reflect on their mistakes! Hey, my little peach broonies, and welcome- Oh! Wait a minute, what am I doing? What am I doing? I was about to say welcome back to the episode of Vampires and then I realized how bright it was and I'm like, that's not the way we do things around here. It needs to be dark and maximum spook for an episode of Vampires. Let's face it. So we are back with our little vampire land. I've seen the result of the poll from the last episode. Like I said, I just wanted to get a vibe because I see people, um, people's opinions a lot on Twitter. I see them a lot on um, Discord. But obviously that's a much more one-to-one -one way for me to get to know your opinion and if you're on YouTube like there's so many YouTube comments I read lots of them but I know a lot of people don't even comment and I just wanted to know what my general viewers wider viewers this is where the most of you exist obviously because you watch YouTube videos so I wanted to kind of get a gauge of what your guys's opinion was as well the poll is just kind of for my get to know just so I can get a vibe I am not currently 100% sure what I want to do yet anyway so it was still good to hear what you guys wanted also thank you guys for pointing out to me how stupid I am I put a mirror <laughs> <laughs> for Cody to check his appearance. When he wakes up uh, from his little, uh, I want to say tomb. It's not a tomb. Coffin. From his coffin to check his appearance. He ain't going to be able to do that. In fact, I'm going to go here and just show you how much he ain't going to be able to do that. And how stupid I am. Right now, he's burning outside. So that's awesome. In fact, I just checked in on Sammy. And he's upstairs researching parenting methods. <laughs> I don't know if that's like for, um, oh look at these two romancing as well, she's still around here. I don't know if that's for looking after Ethan or what, but it kind of cracked me up. Um, and check this out guys. Yeah Claire, you're stupid! You'll be stupid Claire, there's no reflection there. What were you even thinking? But I'm glad it cracked you guys up. So just before we get on with today's episode, let's do our five little pizzerinos of the day. So these are people who are tagged off my, I get used to saying this really fast now. These people are tagged off myself in the Kalia Club on Instagram and Twitter. Just go ahead and do that and we'll pick up your pictures and we'll add them to a video. So without further ado, here is five. So without further Today's five little feature readers of the day. I have a giddy mood this morning. So first of all, from Instagram, we have got Smiley Claire in the Peach Squad hoodie. Literally amazing. We have got Bri Brianna Lashia in the Peach Squad hoodie. Ooh, Misty, looking amazing there. We've got Brianna729 in the Peach Squad hoodie as well. We've got Claire as a goddess in the Peach Arenos t-shirt, looking awesome. And then finally, we've got Libby07237416 in the Peach Arenos t-shirt as well. Thank you guys all so much. I hope you enjoy the merch and I hope you enjoy today's episode. So I have been umming and ahhing about the Seth situation because obviously I love, I love, love, love and you guys like this as well that we've got like vampires, we've got witches, we've got supernatural and then we got Seb who's a pirate basically, one-legged pirate. However, it was him, it was him that actually took down Eve with a beatdown that she has been, she's been asking for for so long. She's been deserving for so long. She, he went ahead and gave her the beatdown that she needed. However, I am sort of vibing that in general, he's looking a bit sick as well. It's not a bright idea for me to keep him here now that Eve knows that they're here. And I don't think it's safe for Zendaya either. So on the one hand, he was so awesome at taking her down. But on the other hand, I'm just kind of feeling like for his own safety, I need to just send him somewhere safer. And I think the place where I need to send him is probably Solani. So I think I might have to go ahead and do that. I feel so start doing this because it was are you sleeping in your coffin yeah you're sleeping in your coffin okay if you have to go to work you're gonna have to go ahead and say bye to little sebikins now then i'm not saying it has to be permanent i don't know what he's gonna do but i think it's wise for now i need to keep my boy safe like he and his love life have love life interest i've come close to death or died way too many times in this series he is a mortal and he's a sweet soft little mortal and i just want to keep him alive and look, I want him to go to Solani, get his little Trump tan back, and live his best life, okay? Oh, Sammy is here as well. Sammy's like, Pasha! I have arrived! So, nice little hugs for him. Cody is gonna head into work. Uh, I'll get him to head in, but just before he does, if you guys remember, he was studying vampiric law. So he's gonna just, before he leaves, just say to Sammy, like, just like, look, I have a theory, like, just something I want to try. Can you collect plasma fruits? And Sammy's like, but you won't, you won't drink them if I make them into sippy cups for you. And he's like, no, just ignore that for now. Can you collect plasma fruits? And can you collect wolfsbane for me today while I'm at work? We don't ask you to do a lot, Sammy. Just do this one thing for me while I'm at work and I'll explain more when I get home, okay? So he's off to go and get that done. Seb. 
Seb, I'm gonna have to split up the household and get him to move on. Oh, it's so sad. But it's the safest thing for him to do. He's the only mortal one. And I want to keep my boy safe. And also, in terms of his life and where he's at, he's got like a girlfriend. Zendaya actually has a child as well. So I think we need to like experience him, him meeting her child. I kind of vibe that Seb wants his own kids. So I just sort of feel like um, he's in a different, he's still blonde. He's in a different place in his life. He's kind of moving on into like new pastures. And I hate breaking up the boys, but I think it's the right decision. I do think it is, gang. Oh, look at this. Little Sammy's parenting techniques coming into full force. Okay, yeah, Nyx is like, you don't tell me what to do, Sammy. I tell you what to do. Also, can we sort out Nyx's food? Cause that's just vile. Can we like fix that please? And if Sammy's out looking for stuff, I'm gonna get Nyx to as well. We've already got garlic growing in the back here, but Cody specifically asked for, ooh, what's this? Wolfsbane, transport it here right now. So we've got ourselves some Wolfsbane, magic, ooh. Can I, is it, no, it's not ready to harvest yet, but I can take a cutting and I can actually, I, he can, he's, he's a little green witch. This is like the magicalness I always wanted for Sammy. Good, happy magic. He's doing, oh, what did that do? Did that do anything? Did that improve it at all? It doesn't need tending. Okay, he's tended to it, which is cool. We've also got a cutting for it. We've also got, a f apparently there's a flower on there. I don't know, Sammy, you probably can see things I can't because I can't see a flower. Did he ask for a six and mosquito trap? I don't feel like he did, but I also don't feel like Sammy is probably great at listening either, so he's probably gonna just go and get this too. Oh, and look, this, wolf, this wolf's bane is ready to harvest. Okay, definitely come over here and harvest this one. I love the teleport thing. It's so cool. <gasps> so he's got himself, ooh, three wolf's bane. I don't know how many Cody needs, but he did say this was your one thing to do today, so why don't you do your best? Do your best at your one thing to do, okay? <gasps> These are harvestable as well. Yes. Look at this. Sammy being helpful. Helpful little Samsums. And actually, <laughs> I feel like Sammy could play this incredibly lazily. Let's face it, we can teleport here and I can lay his stuff on the ground. So like one of each, let's put this one out too. He can totally be like, oh yes, I spent all day collecting these. Don't you even worry, Cody, Cody Rudle. I, I did so much collections. Now nah, he just magic in it. He just copy pasta in it all. You know what? If you can, why not? I do think maybe we should plant some of them just so it looks a little bit more authentic. So let's get one of these planted at either side as well. In fact, let's have a little bit of symmetry. I do like a bit of symmetry. Oh, beautiful. Look at y'all, look how cute his little area is, guys. Like, it's so adorable. Okay, let's get one. Can you like plant one on each side? Plant one here. Uh, where are you off now? <laughs> Sammy has a mind of his own. Loving this, look at, oh, I said his hair would change. Okay, let me let him do all his stuff and then He's gonna go wash his hair and see if the last of the dye starts to fade away. Now, I think to get his hair, I'm like taking this way too seriously. <laughs> Sammy's hair has the, what, 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 why? No, stop, stop just planting them, no, 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 that's not meant to be. I don't like messy planting, okay? This is, no, this is against the rules, no. No, you're not having that one either, there you go. But like Sammy's hair has the most, like founded in science law of anything in this game, but to get black hair blonde, you would have to bleach it loads. So this bit here, like you can still see he's put a bit of pink through it. But even if the pink would wash out, what would happen is, oh, wrong way around, his tips would end up like this. So like you can see the last bit of pink in them. And then like once his hair grows out a bit, he can just cut off this bleached bit. But that's his bleached hair underneath. So he would actually have had, like his hair would have had to do like this kind of thing, like that before he put the, or even like maybe like that, like more ashy before you put the pink on. Oh man, like literally, but put white hair on a human. That human is my type. <laughs> Including this, look how cute guys. Look at this face, he's so adorable. Ah, love him. Look at him just magic in everything. Okay, so Sammy's doing some good work here. Cody finishes work at seven. One thing I do, oh, I need to change his lifetime aspiration, don't I? Didn't I say I'd ask you guys in the comments which one I should change it to? Does he want to become like a master vampire? Or do you think he wants a vampire family? Let me see what you guys said in the comments. You guys say that Cody's aspiration should be a good vampire. So it's not about drinking human blood. But we know that he also kind of likes drinking human blood. But it is about finding a cure, which he is also definitely trying to do. And oh my gosh, you can woo in the coffins. Oh, there's this good vampire one as well. Don't drink deeply for five days in a row. Reach vampire law for... He's pretty close to this one. Create fit 
Prowls apart from fish or frogs. I feel so bad about that. I could give him that one. We can give that one for now. I feel like he's already kind of far into it. But let's see how he does. Sammy's blessing is still to find his soulmate. And he's still a not out of four. Good job, Sammy. Still having no idea who your soulmate is. You have a lot of potential ones, to be fair. You've also got loads of garlic to harvest as well. Don't sell it though, harvest all of them. Oh, and Nyx, Nyx definitely listens to you, Sammy. You know, you told him to go out prowling and find stuff of his own. Yeah, he's just here having a little sleep next to the PC. I also love that when extra laziness, like being a witch suits Sammy so well. Whenever he's hungry, he can just create some food and eat it. So he's just made himself some pasta. Look at him thinking about himself like, I did a good job, well done me. And oh wow, look at his plants growing. Oh, good job, Sam Sam. I'm gonna leave Cody what he's asked for. Can I leave like a whole stack on a table? I don't- am I ever gonna put- oh my gosh. <laughs> Here you go, Cody! <laughs> some plasma fruits. Here's some of these as well. I was gonna leave him the garlics, but I don't think he's gonna like that. I'm also vibing these just like- oh. Oh, interesting. In interesting room you've got going here, Cody. Uh, I ain't even gonna question that. He also wants to hug someone, bless him. Looks like I'll invite Ethan over so that he can get fed and Sammy can hug him. And it's like, Ethan is a vampire and can't come around right now because it's the daytime, but it's just funny though it says it like, Ethan is a vampire and can't come around right now. I don't know, I've, that cracked me up, okay? He just did. And oh my gosh, as if Cody works till seven. That's so late. So late. Oh, well, let's be a good little house witch and like, I don't know, make him some meals and stuff. Do a little bit of cleaning. Don't, don't copy pasta over the dirty plates, okay? There you go. Look at this rack of lamb. I, I feel like in some farmer's field somewhere, a sheep just disappeared. The farmer's just like, what? What just happened? And Sammy had three points to spend, so I've given him hexproof. I've given him natural mentor, and I think, should I give him the magical renaissance one as well? Resonance, not renaissance. They're protected from death with overload, and they're really powerful while they're in the magical realm. Since he got his book kicked so hard by Eve, I don't think he'd ever win Eve in a battle. Like, he can't even win himself in a battle. He's just not really like a fighting magical kind of sim, but I think it would be nice for him to at least uh, have something he's good at. And I think his strength, as he's getting older, he's realizing, is more in the practical side of things, like making food, and being a green witch, but also in mentoring. So I think he's definitely gonna take it upon himself. Oh, look at Nick's coming in, just hanging out with him. Oh, we're still stealing. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So yeah, practical stuff and also mentoring little Raven. Look, nice. Nice little thing we've got going on on the fireplace there. So let's get Cody to head over here and check out what we've got. His vampire energy is really low. He could use dark meditation or sleep. Let's try a little bit of dark meditation. I feel like that's more beneficial. He's like, Sammy did something impressive. Thank you, Sam Sam. And I also just realized Egypt Sam <laughs> made a rack of lamb for a vampire that can't eat human food. Well done, Sammy. I know it's technically me that did it, but still amusing. Also, Sam Sam's sick. And focused. Oh my gosh, you little genius. Oh, little Ethan is here for his daily feed. So that's kind of adorable. Oh wow, and Sammy is just going for it right now. Why don't you guys like watch a movie or something? And then you can do the whole... Is there a Sims watch Sims of the Dead? Yes, that's the closest I can get to a vampire movie. Yeah, I don't think Cody's gonna <laughs> look at Cody. I don't think he's gonna wanna watch it. Ooh, and I see a wild Aria out in the wild as well. I really wanna up his like vampire-ness more. I don't want him, I don't want to like forget about that. He's, he's not even a prime vampire, he's just a minor. He's just basic right now. So I'm gonna see if she can like mentor him a little bit. And also from his books, he's been reading, reading some interesting things about vampires that he wants to like check with her. Oh, but look, he can't request uh, vampire training from her, vampiric training. Cause look, she's very sad. So he's gonna try and cheer it up a little bit. Whoa. I think she feels- Oh, la, 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 one of your vampires. I've never seen this guy before, but look how cool. Look how cool! I actually love him so much. I love that lipstick too. And he's in vampire form. Yeah, Cody's gonna try and make her feel a little bit better because he needs the training, but also these guys have kind of got like a nice friendship going on, haven't they? Oh, she's feeling fine now. He actually cheered her up. But also, I don't think you guys should do the training just like here out in the open, okay? I mean, there are still some- Why, why would you come here as a human? Why? It's just the stupidest idea I've ever heard. I don't know why they do it, so I'm gonna get them to go here, because I feel like this is our vampire training grounds. You guys watching your little movie together. Yeah, okay, adorable. Oh, and look, this is one of the vampires that we saw in the last episode as well. Persephone, that's such a good vampire name. Love that. I'll let you know if I see any more. I'm keeping my eyes peeled. Oh, look, he's feeling happy from being safe and secure. I love that for Cody, feeling safe and secure is this. <laughs> 
in the room with the master vampire who's got Wait, her teeth full out you. and is advising yeah. him on best little. vampire technique. <laughs> like, that yeah. makes him feel safe and secure, which is kind of like Cody through and through, isn't it? That is Cody that, as we've wow. always known him. Ooh! <gasps> what? What? What just happened? Oh, what? Is that her training him? I didn't think it would look like that. It looks so much like she's like taking out his soul and energy. I don't even know. I'm also keeping an eye on these two. They're, they're, oh, vampires are here. Persephone is here. Uh, uh, I don't think it's a good idea for vampires controlled by Eve to know that we are currently have two vampires in the house that I'd rather Eve didn't know we had a bond with, you know? One there and one there. Oh, look, guys, he is starting to feel hungry. But look, I'm also aware that, look, his, th his thirst is low, but also his fun is low. And I, I think it's kind of amusing that he's in a house with Sami now, considering that him and Sami, they're getting better. Look, look, look. They're almost out of the I kind of hate you phase, which is always nice. But he's trying to inject a sense of humor into like a several hundred year old vampire. I, I, I don't know quite how well it's going, but she she seems to be cracking a little smile every now and again. And we're just gonna try and amuse her, okay? We'll tell her about when we defeated the mother plan. She knows, but she knows that he defeated it, but she doesn't know the whole story. There was a lot going on. So I'm just gonna try and like, look, make vampire pun. Put a smile on a face of someone that we know is kind of down, unhappy, and has been mentally controlled by an evil witch. He's trying, gang. He's trying, okay? How do vampires keep busy? By looking for their next victim. Wow, Cody. Have you got any more of these? Because these are amazing. Please, I need more. I need more of them. Why did the vampire need medicine? For his coffin. Oh my gosh, Cody. These are these are the best thing in the whole of The Sims so far. More. He's telling more. He, this, is, this is amazing. Why are vampires bad at self-improvement? Because they can't reflect on their mistakes. Oh my gosh, more. I need more. What do you call a master vampire? A real pain in the neck. Cody the shade. The shade to Arya right now. Oh look, she's sick of the vampire fun. She's like, oh my gosh. Please stop insulting me with vampire puns, okay? Okay, so he's miserable because he's hungry. Which ain't great. Uh, so as much as I hate to do this, we need to go hunting together. We need to go on a little joint vampire hunt. So let me know if you see anybody out and about. The rack of lamb is sat in there being totally uneaten. <laughs> and I have a theory I want to test. I'm going to eat garlic and then let Ethan feed. Because Ethan seems to be completely immune to garlic to me. He ate garlic noodles. So I just want to test this. Okay, so Sammy has literally just eaten garlic. He has full garlic breath right now. And he can still drink. What? I did not think you'd be able to drink with garlic breath, but yeah, okay. Ethan has no no garlic hatefulness at all. Good to know. No, oh, guys, look, another one of your vampires. But no mortals to drink from. Another vampire. Okay, all the vampires are out tonight. Ooh, and we found a human. I found a human. Okay, okay. Wait, do I have to introduce? No. Drink like well, an ass. I can give her a hallucination. Okay, I'm kind of intrigued as to what that is, so we're gonna give that a go. And then, because we don't know her, we're gonna have to just like, oh my gosh, she's hallucinating right now. This is good because she'll never know. She'll have no idea what's happening. Look, she's in a complete other world. And we're gonna compel her for permission for drinks. Look, he's thinking about Arya. Oh my gosh, look at him just stalking her. Stay still! Stay still, I need to drink plasma from you. What are you doing? Okay, he's finally got in front of her. I think this is the first time we've ever actually seen him do this. Oh my gosh, so he's compelled her and he's actually drinking. Doing a wild drink, which is getting his thirst and energy back up. But he's also tense because he's a guilty drinker. He doesn't actually like doing it. He's still kind of thirsty though. I know that deep drinking can easily kill a person, but I don't know about small drinking. <laughs> but he's not- Oh! Please don't accidentally kill her. Please, 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 please. I don't think Cody's soul could deal with accidentally drinking someone to death. Well, let's, let's just see how this goes. I definitely wanted to focus more on Cody and vampires this episode. I just didn't think I would have to do this to the point of potential death. So, oh my gosh, look at the trees. You see the little eyes in the trees? I s look! I see him there. Okay, she seems okay. And he's off. He's running away. He wants to go and wash it down with water. He doesn't like it, guys. He feels bad. Oh my gosh, she's even called Delilah. Like, a cute name. Just like, a cute, sweet name. And... Yeah. That was kind of bad codes. And like, w washing it down with water as well. Oh, Cody. Little Sam Sam is sleeping upstairs. And look, Cody's had to clean up the food that Safi made him. 
That's hilarious. To make you feel a bit better, I've got them just to both. He's making like a plasma drink cocktail. Actually, the one that Aria was drinking when they very first met in the restaurant. I wonder if I should get him some little chairs down here. Some little chill out chairs. I think that's a nice idea. I'm only buying him stuff from the vampire pack because it's all still very new and exciting to me. Plus, look how fully spooky they look. They're so awesome. And oh my gosh, look at this adorable exchange. <laughs> Nick's chit-chatting with Arya. I don't know if she can like use her vampire powers to speak into his brain. But it's like she's like, uh-huh, uh-huh. Like she's talking telepathically to him. I just feel like she is. I think she likes him. She ain't gonna make him into a plasma drink anytime soon at least. Oh my gosh. And there's something just so trashy about having your plasma drink in like... Why is it in like those like, like red cups that you always see in like American like frat parties? Oh my gosh, Nick, please don't do this. No. No! I can't, he's done so much wrong recently, I can't even lecture him about the thing that I want to lecture him on. I'm gonna get him to share some vampiric knowledge with him, which is like, look, I've been reading and I'm seeing stuff about plasma fruits, about wolfsbane and about garlic, that there might be a cure for vampirism. And she's like, yeah, there is ancient lore about a cure. And he's like, how come you never looked into doing it? And she's like, I don't really want to be cured from being a vampire. You can live forever. There is- Oh my gosh, shut up! Shut up, shut up, shut up! Shush! You're too loud! You're too loud, you actually do my head in. Go prowling, just go, okay? Off you go, please. Okay, sh he's going, thank god. So loud, the cats are so loud. <laughs> And it like goes through my brain. But yeah, she's gonna be like, I don't really want a cure. I like this. I live forever. I've learned so much. I've like found out so many things. I've been so many places. I've met so many people. She's like, I'm surprised that you're interested in a cure because you know, you're quite science brain. You're very science brain. You like discovering new things. You like investigating things. If you're a vampire, you could do this forever. Plus she said, I, I'd be kind of sad if you did decide to get a cure because I think you'd be a pretty interesting person to spend a couple of hundred years with. I think Cody would be intrigued because like they have a pretty good uh, friendship, but I do think there's like chemistry between them both as well. But I don't know if Cody is ready to give up his humanity for someone. I think it's something he needs to think about. I think the whole living for eternity and being able to like discover so many new things and do so many new things is definitely very intriguing to him. But it's also definitely something he needs to have some time to think about. His energy is also getting low and oh my gosh, he's got work in an hour's time. This always happens to me. I like that though, look, she said that to him. She was like, like she, they were definitely getting very flirty there and she mentioned the whole wanting to spend a couple of hundred years with him, which is an interesting pickup line. But then she was like, okay, I'm gonna give you some space. Also, cause it's like light outside. Oh my gosh, I didn't actually realize what time it was. Also, she's not like just dropping that on him and being like, I need an answer pronto. So I assume Cody's got to try and get his energy up before work, interesting. <laughs> his job must be suffering so hard right now. He's actually doing okay because he is literally that smart, but still. And look, I can imagine Sammy coming downstairs and being like, Oh, Cody ate the food I made him. That's so cool. Well, I'm hungry as well. So I'm actually going to go ahead and make us all some more food. Oh, Sammy. You sweet little simpleton. Gar garlic noodles. He's made him garlic noodles again. <laughs> oh, Sam Sam. At least you will always be very safe from uh, being by bitten by vampires. Other than Ethan. Uh, Cody's got to head into work. But before he does, he's going to nip into Sam and be like, Hi, Sam. I see you've made garlic noodles again. Um, good job, good job, Sam. But thank you for everything you did yesterday. Look at the height difference, it's so cute. He's uh, you know, like, Phoenix? thank you for Turn actually away. helping me. Like, I really appreciate <laughs> that. And I'm sorry we haven't always seen eye to eye. But the good news is, do you still have that little vampire pet running around after you? Sam is like, don't call him a pet, okay? Don't call him that, he's not a pet. He's my friend. Okay, so I'm gonna get Cody to apologize. <gasps> Cody thinking about babies. Cody, you can't catch baby fever. You're a vampire. I don't know if vampires can have babies. But I am gonna get him to apologize to Sam Sam because he's trying to improve this relationship. He's like, I didn't realize that he meant that much to you. I thought he was kind of a joke, but okay. He's gonna say, look, thanks for everything that you did the other day. The good news is, the good news is Nick's here to be really loud. But he's like, the good news is, I think I might be able to save your friend. There may be a way for us to cure vampires. So you can let your friend, not your pet. Oh, Sammy's burning to death. Okay, great. You can let your friend know um, that I'm working on a cure for them. Oh, he's too hot. Okay, we need to put out the fire. And let's change into our hot weather outfit, please. I don't even know it could get hot here. Since when does it get hot here? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <gasps> it's really hot. Oh my gosh, it's actually heat wave. Wow. Look how different it looks in the heat. 
Oh my gosh. It doesn't look anywhere near as creepy. <gasps> It actually looks so nice! So he's out here doing his little gardening. He's feeling all good. He's like, Cody and me are finally getting on. I feel like I'm actually being useful. I have finally... I may have found a way to save Ethan and I know how much he wants that. So he's feeling like super happy right now. He's gonna drop Ethan a message. Ethan a message and just saying, look, I don't wanna promise anything, but I think I may have found a way to give you your life back. He is feeling a million dollars right now. But then, oh, after dude. texting Ethan, he gets Shabini a call Jabin. from somebody. Dur somebody who happens to live in the house at the top of the hill. And his wow, face has really? changed immediately because this is not a nice phone call. And instead, Eve has said she has got her revenge for what happened last episode. She put someone on the phone for just a moment and it's not good for Sammy. Oh. <laughs> 